priest of Cuban descent who came to Philadelphia almost 200 years ago that I'm sure you're familiar with. His name is Felix Varela y Morales. How do you see the connection between his journey and yours? Is there any connection in this long history of the church and the struggles uh, over 200 years? I, I wouldn't dare compare myself to a guy of the stature of Felix Varela. You know, Felix Varela is, you know, he's the man that taught the Cuban to think. He was a philosopher. Um, he was a guy that came to Philadelphia. He spent six months here. Uh, and then he went on to become the second in command in the Archdiocese of New York. He was their vicar general. He was next to the bishop, it was him. And he actually didn't work with Cubans. He worked with Irish immigrants right. and established pa Irish immigrant parishes in, Newark, in New York. Um, but then he, he died a, a sick and a lonely man in St. Augustine, Florida. Yeah. yeah, he died a sick and a lonely man. Um, uh, but a guy that, uh, a man that of great courage, of great courage. Um, and, and he understood that as a priest, he was there to serve the people of God. He wasn't, he wasn't there to, to serve his own in a sense. Uh, and in that way, I share that philosophy of his, right? I, I always get asked, so what does it feel? What does it feel like to be a Hispanic bishop or archbishop? And my response to that is, well, there really is no such thing as a Hispanic bishop. There's a, what I am is a Catholic bishop, Catholic archbishop, um, that happens to be Hispanic and that happens to speak Spanish and be bicultural and, and totally comfortable in those two cultural worlds, uh, which gives me an asset and a resource to be able to serve uh, locally and nationally the Hispanic community. But I see myself as a Catholic bishop who happens to be Hispanic. And I think Felix Varela saw himself as a Catholic priest who happened to be Cuban. Uh, but actually in most of his life after his exile from Cuba, um, he actually worked with Irish, with the Irish immigrants in Manhattan. That's what he worked with and who he worked with. If you come to, to Aldea office, you will see his painting here in the wall and a frame a reproduction of his Habanero publication printed here in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. uh, we keep uh, the memory of him because of his work in journalism. And uh, also we uh, feel there is a connection with the work that we do here. Absolutely. His inspiration to put things, ideas in writing and, and convey to the, to the people. So uh, you answer my next question about the inspiration that uh, Varela can give you. So let me go to the next one. Uh, Octavio Cisneros, Bishop Octavio Cisneros, another Cuban American, has worked hard for years to make Varela a saint of the Catholic Church. He was a guest of Aldea in the past, and he spoke um, with great um, knowledge of the life of Father Varela, and we learned from him. So the chance of electing Varela to sainthood seemed to me high now with Francis being the Pope and Nelson being the Archbishop. Would you have okay for that? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I th and the cause continues to be worked. You know, uh, the, the cause of a saint takes time. Most of the time, it takes a lot of time. You know, recently we've seen, um, you know, Mother Teresa, John Paul II uh, become saints uh, in our lifetime while we saw them. Uh, most of the time, it doesn't happen that way. Oscar Romero was part of our generation, right? right. You know, martyred in the 80s. Um, but it does take time. So that's my hope and my prayer that someday Felix Varela uh, will be presented to the world uh, as a model of sainthood. Uh, what is the meaning, if that happens, the meaning of uh, the Father Varela figures the 19th century vision that he had for the 21st century Hispanics living in the U.S. today? I would say to be good thinkers, to be engaged in the civil discourse and bringing, and bringing with 
and bringing with us also the values of our faith to that civil discourse, uh, because that's what he did, right? He was a philosopher. He was a philosopher. He was a citizen, and he was a priest. And 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 he and he was able to bring all those three aspects of his life. And he was a Cuban, and and he was able to bring all those aspects of his life to the center square. And I would say that that's a gift that we in particular as Hispanics bring, right? We bring our culture. Uh, we have to bring our culture to the civic square uh, to bear. We have to bring our values and our, and our custom, but also our Christian faith and who we are. And he's a model of a person who did that. 